the customers. Um, go to ff.summerlees.com. FF for Forever Fuels. Summerlees is the name of our group. You'll need an account. You can see you can uh, create a new account, but you can't associate that with your record. So you'll need to ask us to set you up with an account. We'll send you the, uh, the login details. So put in your login details, username and password. It'll take you to your uh, summary page of the information about uh, your site or sites. Um, typically you'll have one site and there'll just be the one information, but uh, you can have an overview as, of as many sites as you'd like. Um, so in this case uh, we've got two sites showing. One of them has uh, delivery information and uh, Delox fuel level management information. Um, if you want to see what uh, deliveries you've had in the past, just hover over any bar. It'll pop up the, de de uh, the details. So, three and a half tons on the 8th of February. And if you want to see what the fuel level was at any time, hover over one of the data points and you see a similar amount of information. 3.35 tons. So, for instance, this is quite useful. We can see that the boiler was switched off at this site uh, towards the end of May. You can edit some very basic details, but not, not that much. Uh, so you could uh, edit your email address and the uh, name of the company that it's associated with, your account. It's a different thing to the site. And you could also change your password in there. Just type in your password into there and click update with password. Don't want to do that at the moment. And lastly, if you've forgotten your password, It'll email a random password, but of course you can't see that if you've forgotten your password, so that's slightly pointless. Anyway, the key thing is to be able to order fuel more easily than uh, hanging around on the phone. And uh, you can be sure you've put in the details that you want. So you select for the site, you can order 6mm bulk, 6mm pallets, or we used to do 8mm bulk, but that's uh, pretty much defunct now. These are all 6mm M plus A1 bulk or bagged pellets nowadays. So, let's say I want to order pellets for this site. I click order 6mm bulk. And it comes up wanting to check which site we want it for and what product, but uh, it's chosen the obvious defaults. I type in the quantity that I want. So I want um, four tons for this site. I can either uh, go to continue uh, to confirm contact details or continue using existing contact details. The first one would allow you to change your contact details. Um, the second one would skip that section and go straight to the final section for confirming the order. We'll have a quick look at uh, the contact detail information. So, there's a quick map suggesting that uh, we probably deliver to this fictional site uh, from our Oakhampton depot. Uh, you can put in whatever contact information you like. Good idea to put in a mobile number as we can uh, text you with reminders um, and our driver will use it to contact you on the day as well, let you know when he's coming. It lets you add more than one bit of contact information. As we find quite often more than one person needs to know about the delivery. Anyway, we don't need to update that now. So if we continue to pricing, this also takes you to the page that you would have gone straight to if you'd chosen to use the existing contact information. Now, a very important customer order reference. If you're a commercial customer, and you're going to tell us later that there should be an order number on the invoice, 
this is where you will put that order number in. If you haven't put it in, don't tell us later that you can't pay an invoice without an order number. It's up to you to give us the order number or pay it without the order number. So. Delivery date info, you can't select a specific date, but you can request uh, us to try and fit around whatever your timings are. Um, we'll do our best and get back to you and let you know if we were able to do that or with an alternative suggestion if we weren't. So uh, very often we'll have ASAP, um, no later than Friday. Good idea to put in the date because we may not know exactly when this was put in. July. Order notes, if there's anything special we need to know um, about the order other than site notes for delivery, which is coming up next. Um, so if there's any, any issues with access, do put this on in the site notes for delivery. Our drivers we will, uh, will see this on their delivery notes and they'll be able to uh, plan around it if uh, you haven't told us about delivery issues and we get there and there's a problem with access uh, we may not be able to deliver what a driver cannot do is park up and sort out his own traffic problems he has to stay with his truck so you have to make sure he can get access ideally by telling us in advance of any issues so that we can all plan together Contact info we would have updated on the previous page anyway. Products already been selected, the quantity's already been selected. If you put in a mobile number and you'd like us to text you the day before the delivery is scheduled to remind you it's coming, just click that. And if you're uh, having a small delivery, which four tons counts as a small delivery, um, you can request us to try and fit you in with other customers so you can uh, reduce your delivery charge. Um, there are no guarantees. Selecting that does not mean that you will necessarily get a multi-drop, um, but we'll do our best. Um, you need to allow plenty of notice if you want this to increase our chances of finding someone to share with you. Um, and we'll keep you updated uh, on how that's going. If uh, it's getting close to you running out and we still haven't found someone you can share with, you'll be able to choose whether to go ahead as a standalone price for a standalone delivery um, or carry on waiting or cancel the order. Estimated lead time, this is very approximate, it's, it's not an easy thing for the computer to calculate but at the moment the computer thinks the lead time would be about three days uh, again we'll be confirming that to you when we have a more accurate idea and it's worked out our prices um, yeah, so we have £173 per tonne product price per unit. Um, uh, very rarely have a delivery price per unit, but we usually, for a spot price, do have a delivery charge per load. So this one is a four tonne delivery. So the delivery charge will be 245.97 divided by four is the cost per tonne for the delivery. About £60. So that makes. Uh, all-in cost on this one of about £233 per tonne. Um, if you order four tonnes and can only take three, you'll only be charged for three, but you'll still pay that delivery charge, which will make it more expensive per tonne, but at least you won't be paying for tonnes that you didn't have. Um, the last section, three tonne, is pretty much defunct now. We used to a pricing structure that gave people every tenth ton free, but it made every other, all the other nine tons more expensive. And uh, we were told people would rather just have straight price, so we've eliminated that one. So if I now click create new order and call to pay, um, that will set up the order. That doesn't mean that it's been scheduled, that puts it into our list to be delivered. Um, and we then get back to you with a suggestion for when we would like to deliver. You're not obliged to accept that, um, 
we send you an email. If you're happy with that, you simply reply to the email um, and we make the delivery on the agreed date. If you're not happy, you reply to another address and say, that date doesn't work for me, could you think again? And we'll come back to you with another date and uh, until we find something that suits both of us. Anyway, I won't click that now. It's not a, it's not a real order. That's pretty much all there is there. You can edit details of the information for the site. This is very useful for our driver and it's required for the M plus accreditation to know some of this information. Um, so we ask you to fill out an account opening form which will give us most of that information anyway. Uh, but if anything changes, rather than have a surprise that creates a problem when the driver turns up, update the information and then we'll know it before he, he goes out. And similarly we can change information about the site. And that's pretty much the same as the contact information that we could have edited for the order. So that's pretty much it. Not too difficult. You could have ordered bags as well. Slight um, things to watch out for on the bags. The price is not the full price. That is the price per pallet. Uh, usually of around a tonne. Um, it does not show, it's a bug in the system, it does not show the delivery charge, but there is an additional delivery charge beyond that. Um, not for all bag product, but when you click this to uh, place the order, you'll see what the actual uh, charge is. So it's £215 per tonne for the pallet, and then 5141 in this case, it's, it's hypothetically down in deepest Cornwall. Uh, so it's a 266 pound 41 uh, charge. Those are XVAT prices. All of the prices on the system are excluding VAT. We'll cancel that. So we strongly encourage people to use this system um, as demand increases for wood pellets. Uh, it is not going to be feasible for everyone to phone up and place their orders. Uh, there's going to be more and more of a backlog, more and more frustration, but you can all log in and place your order very easily. Um, so you don't have to wait, you can do it at any time of day. And we'll uh, see it the next morning and uh, get back to you on when we think we can schedule for you for a delivery. No obligation at that point. Um, if you don't want it, you don't accept it, and uh, we leave it at that.